here with head coach Fred McNair. Coach, just talk about the first day of uh, summer camp here. You no, know, first day is like I expected to be. You know, a lot of jitters and some of the guys coming back, and you know, the guy that's been here to get a chance to to get together and do some team stuff. And so I'm excited about where we at on the first day. Wasn't a whole lot of mistakes, but we still got a lot of work to do in terms of team getting prepared for the first ball game. Coach, talk about what being able to be here in July did for this first day of practice. I tell you what, being here in July really helped this ball team. And, uh, I emphasize that a lot because the importance of these guys being in shape in camp is what's important in July, how they go in the weight room, how they conditioning in the month of July while they're here and taking summer classes. So that plays a lot into what we do during the summer, during the course of camp. Coach, talk about your assessment of the first day, defense, offense, special teams. What, what did you see that you liked across the board? You know, the biggest thing is just the movement part, just the guys flying around and getting to where they need to be and seeing a lot of guys excited about being out here. And being in the biggest part, the vocal part, guys communicating in terms of what they need to do with the calls and all that kind of stuff. Special team, what we did with the special team, we kind of broke it down and in and, and, and parts to where we kind of get the guys familiar in that position of what they got to do on those special teams. Coach, there's only one trigger, man, so I don't want to use that that nickname right here, but who's going to be under center? We, we talked about all the quarterbacks today. Everybody kind of shined in their certain areas. What do you like about that position? Today? Well, you know, the biggest thing is it's very competitive. You know? And what I like about it today, everybody competed in that position at the quarterback position. So I'm excited about what I see in those positions. Some of the guys could be a little bit better than some, but uh, I, that, that position is very competitive. And we're just going to wait this thing out and see how it plays out. Somebody's going to take the reins. Uh, one here pretty soon, so I'm excited about where we're at with those guys. Coach, talk about the defensive backs. You know, it's called DBU for a reason. Everybody looked good out there today. You, you talked uh, earlier with another uh, outlet saying no turnovers, but at the same time, a couple breakups, a couple good defensive uh, rush ends there would have been quarterback sacks. Just talk about the defense overall and then the DBs, kind of highlighting them. And what I see, and what I see in those guys, they playing with, they playing with a sense of urgency, and uh, they they jumping on to Kevante Key. He made a good pass breakup. Uh, Andrews made a good pass breakup and, and on the corner spot. Had a pick there, but you kind of want those guys to, to, to stick those in the end zone. So the defense are flying around. I'm very excited to see some of the things, but you just can't make a good play and then something bad happen behind that. So we just got to be more consistent on that side of the ball and what we do. And I think Coach Thomas is, is getting the guys up to par in terms of what they need to be in terms of defense. Defensive line was what you kind of harped on when we talked earlier in the summer. How'd you think they did today? I can't be more pleased with the depth we got of defense. I think Coach Bradley's doing a great job of those guys, getting those guys moving with the twists and the stunts and stuff of that, that nature. You know, it's going to take some more reps to get those guys in better shape, but we're going to get them there. We're going to get them there. We're going to work them in shape, and we're going to be a pretty good football team. Personally, how good does it feel to be back out here? Man, I feel great, man. This is, this is my... This is my deal here, man. Being back out on this grass and, and coaching these young men up to play this game that they love and, and with this great coaching stuff I have too, man. It's just it's just so easy on me to just to walk around and evaluate the coaches in their position that way, you know, just standing over them and being a micromanaged guy. That I don't I that I'm not. But these guys, I give them opportunity to coach their position. They do a good, darn good job at it. Coach, going from day one to day two, they say that's one of the biggest uh, biggest differences to be able to see the difference from day one to day two. What are you looking forward to tomorrow? Well, the biggest thing is more sense of urgency. Uh, guys not being so much jittered in them and just make sure they get into the ball and stuff like that the way they should. No more mistakes and, and all that kind of stuff. So day two should be a whole lot better than day one was. So we're going to be excited about it, but it's going to be a 2.30 afternoon Saturday, tomorrow practice. So... I don't know what I'm going to get because that big sun going to shine on Coach, you always say together we rise day two. Braves together we rise day two tomorrow. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.